today we're looking at a cheap Sunco 950T Pro T12 soldering station. Let's take a look. Now when I say cheap, and it's not super cheap, but it's cheap enough. It's around $60 Canadian uh, via the Amazon. And um, yeah, it's about 50 or so US dollars. Okay, enough blabbering. What do you get in the box? Well, first of all, you get your little Sunco 950T manual. Now really nothing more than a pullout, but it gives you everything you need to know. Nice color pictures here. Pretty basic, because let's face it, it is a pretty basic soldering system. Also, you get your soldering iron. Now, the pen itself is a bit smaller, and I'll show you the difference uh, shortly, but I think it's a really good size. It has your connector here, and this is a uh, slightly different connector than some of the other T12 series out there. As well, you get a pretty decent soldering iron holder. It's a combination of plastic and metal, but it works really well. I'll give you a sponge as well at the bottom there. As you can see, red and black. Uh, this does come in other combos as well. Three different color combinations you can choose from. I think this looks pretty sleek. The SU950T Pro, nice cubic style a design of metal and plastic. Really, really well done. This is a very nice unit. Has some weight to it as well, which is always a good thing. And I'm telling you, this temperature controller, this is smooth as glass oh so sweet love it back of the unit we have those nice rubberized feet for them in total so giving us a lot of stability even in such a small platform model 950t pro 75 watts output 22 volts definitely a lot of power under the hood Supplies built into this unit, it does not require an optional DC style adapter like some of the other T12 clones out there and that's a good thing my biggest gripe with this unit is the fact that we have a big honking power cord. Oh my god, why so big? I mean, it's like, you know, a third of the size of the unit. Too bad there's no way that they could have just, you know, made this smaller. So you plug it in, and uh, even though this is a pretty sturdy design, pretty sturdy beast, um, you know, it can get moved just because of the sheer girth of this cord. So, ah, ah too big. Nice calibration pot here at the bottom of the unit as well. So if you find that your uh, station is off, um, I'd say probably more than 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, 10 to 20 to me is the sweet zone uh, in terms of temperature discrepancy. I think that's a good thing. If you're beyond that, you might want to calibrate it. One of the main reasons to get these units is the fact that it is the T12 system originally designed by Heiko Corporation. Uh, the T12 is definitely a very nice soldering mechanism. Low temperature, smooth soldering, minimal heat loss, and that's because the heater, the temperature sensor, everything is embedded into the tip itself. Makes for a really, really nice soldering experience. And guess what? There's over 85 different tips. 85! Holy moly! 85 different T12 tips out there. So uh, no matter what your needs are, probably nice going to find what you want system is the fact that yeah you can get the tips uh, galore as i mentioned and you don't have to spend a lot of money uh these are quicko tips uh from amazon 14 bucks canadian about 10 bucks us for four t12 tips absolutely insane so man you don't have to spend a lot of money once you're in that t12 system t12 tip simply fits into the soldering like so give a little push and boom you are in ready for some soldering action wow so simple now here we've got a Quico T12-942 on the right and the Sunco 950T that we're reviewing today on the left. And you can see quite a difference now. This Quico is truly small. It is diminutive compared to the Sunco. And I'm telling you, the Sunco is tiny. So, uh, you know, I mean, small, smaller, smallest. I guess it's all semantics at that point. But uh, honest to God, uh, this Sunco is really, for me, pretty well small enough. Now, I kid you not, I paid over 120 bucks for the T12 942 around seven, eight months ago. Yeah, that's basically twice the price of the Sunco. And guess what? The Quico didn't even come with a power adapter. Now it has one of those kind of like laptop style that you have to put into the back, 24 volts DC in. So 120 bucks didn't even come with a freaking adapter. Wow. The size differential here, we've got the Sunco on the left and on the right, that Quico. And what a difference in soldering iron size. I much prefer the smaller uh, Sunco version. It just makes more sense to me with the mini station to have a a smaller style soldering iron. I don't know, your mileage may vary. You might prefer the bigger one, but I think Sunco really did a good job with Sunco as well. We have that nice rubberized grip, so you're not gonna burn your fingers. Now, it's not quite as big as the Quickie version because it's a smaller iron, of course, but still uh, well enough to keep you nice and cozy. Turn the unit on, we simply hit the rocker switch on the back 
And bada boom, bada bing, bada bang, we are in business. T12 soldering station business, gotta love it. So right now that heating element is heating up. Heating and air, it says HE, and according to the manual, uh, HE is indicative of a, a connection error. So HE means the electric soldering iron is not installed or not in good connection. Good, ah, not a good connection. So let's just take a look. Um, well, it seems to be connected properly, but guess what? Maybe it isn't. So what we're gonna do, just unplug it, take a peek, and let's do it again. And what do we get? What do we get? Oh my God. We're still getting that uh, HE error, but fear not. What it probably means then, the connection problem isn't here, probably at the T12 tip. And yeah, look at that, it's just not in there tight enough. So there we go. Put it in nice and hard, and suddenly we are back in action already. Let's put the tip back in like so okay now it's starting to heat up it has a slight whining sound i don't think you can hear that but uh it is very minimalistic though and it's actually gone now so a little bit of a hissing going on in the beginning but now it is at temperature and uh yeah we are good to go on this unit is 200 degrees celsius to 480 degrees celsius fortunately uh for my american friends it does not come in fahrenheit it's strictly a celsius output uh 200 to 480 degrees uh yeah now when you turn that dial sometimes it takes a little bit of turning to get all the way to the max position but once it does uh it seems to get there pretty quickly i'd say literally a few seconds so at the bottom of the unit, you can see we have two different LEDs. One is a blue and one is a flashing red. Now that blue constant just basically tells you that your connection to the iron is good. That's all that means, nothing else. The red actually indicates that your uh, temperature is constant. So the constant temperature display light is what that is. Um, I thought originally that was for a uh, temperature, uh, just letting you know that it's heating up, but no, that just tells you that it is maintaining the temperature that you set. Okay, just for the heck of it now, let's verify that temperature. Uh, sitting at 384 degrees according to the Sunco. Um, I've got the temperature thermometer out right now. Let's give it a look-see. We wanna see 15 to 20 degrees or so of variance. Anything more, uh, probably we wanna calibrate, but uh, here we go. Three hundred and sixty-seven. So we're in within that range. So yeah, suffice to say, I'm happy with that. Uh, I don't expect it to be perfect, but that is definitely well within spec. If you wanted to calibrate it, you just go into that calibration pot like so. Take a small Phillips, and you've got your plus and minus, and you would just vary whether or not you want the temperature increased or decreased. Pretty simple. And as you can well imagine, soldering is not an issue. Uh, these things heat up super fast. About five to six seconds, you're up to temperature. And uh, you have a really nice constant heat source going on. As you can see though, nice, nice job. So uh, yeah, not an issue with the T12 series. Phillips screws to remove the bottom casement. And as you can see, there we are, small, small housing. Wow, actually that housing is acting like a passive cooler. Um, if you take a look, we don't have any sort of ventilation slots going on at all. That probably would have been nice to see, but because of the design of the uh, housing itself, you're definitely gonna help with that uh, reduction in heat flow. Way down at the bottom, you can see the wire round step down transformer that is converting that 120 volts to 22 volts. Um, at the top as well, there is our self uh, calibrating pot right here for the uh, user self calibration. And beside it, well, actually right below it, way down there, that is the main LED display. Nice heat shrink going on here. Good attention to detail. Look at that. Nice thick gauge wire as well. Really, really like to see that, especially in a unit so small, because you know it's going to get warm in here. And all this attention to detail is really going to help with longevity. At MOSFET, that's going to help reduce the overall current draw. Um, and if we take a little bit lower, you can see they have some more 
sort of glue stuff going on here. Once again, that's to keep everything in place nice and tidy. There's that temperature control right here. Nice and smooth. I'm telling you, this is just oh so smooth. Really, really, really sweet. Overall, I got to say, uh, nice attention to detail. It's a small package, obviously. Um, we do have a lot of components here on that PCB, but they're in there really, really, really nicely. So good attention to detail here. Good soldering, nice and clean. Uh, nothing foul or missed that I can make out anyway. Everything looks really top notch. Okay, gonna put it back together, come back with my closing thoughts. In the market for a small soldering station that has a really fast heat up time, uh, isn't gonna break the bank, and overall does a really good job at soldering. Look no further than the SU950T Pro from Sunco. This is a really good you know, unit. What can I say? It's a steal of a deal, I think. Uh, in terms of the T12 system, it's one of the best I've seen in quite some time. A couple things that aggravated me about the system. One is the fact that that power cord is just oh so big for such a small, tiny soldering setup. But hey, it is what it is, I guess. The other thing is there's a clip on the back of the soldering iron holder it tends to flip out every so often so it's a bit of a nagging pain but other than that it just worked really well throwing a couple of those quicko t12 tips and i'm telling you you've got a really good station for a very small price the sunco 950 t pro gets a solid four out of five stars Hey, it's a great deal and i think if you're in the need of a station or you know what somebody like me i just want to have a smaller setup besides my regular uh station just something small that i can have pull out take it with me you know this is definitely mobile uh, this is a really good deal thanks for watching this review everybody lots more coming on up january is going to be a fun month oh i got some good cheapos till the next one keep on testing